My friend just asked me if the guy I'm going on a date with is cute. I just feel like, does that matter anymore? Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. I am about to go out with my friend Reem that was in my no boo video. Um, we're gonna go out to eat. So get ready with me while I prepare to go on a date. Okay, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna wear yet, but I feel like we should start doing your makeup first and then figure it out. Unless you're going somewhere really important, like then you should figure out like what you're gonna wear first, obviously. But um, I don't know. I'm just gonna do my makeup cute and throw on something, go with the vibes or whatever. So what's up, y'all? My life has been all over the place as always. Um, I actually just found out today. This is my off day, y'all. How I get fired on my day off? Well, I didn't really get fired, but I just found out that my job is um y'all see that bald spot right there? I be picking picking my eyebrows and eyelashes when I feel anxious and I just can't stop. Like it's like a coping mechanism. But um I just found out that my job is shutting down my vaccine job that I've been working on here in California in two weeks today in a meeting, which it wasn't supposed to shut down until next June. So now I have to find a new job, which isn't really hard. Um, the state of California is uh, shutting it down. I'm guessing they think People don't need their COVID vaccines like that anymore. Um, but we've been doing a lot of people when we when we be going out. So I don't know, but hopefully they open back up. I don't know. Um, what else is going on in my life? Oh my gosh, I'm moving. I'm moving out of LA, y'all. Oh my God, please don't beat me up. If you've been here, if you've been following me since like last year and you've seen I moved to uh, Atlanta and then... Um, LA, don't beat me up, child. I'm moving out of this. I'm ditching this popsicle stand, child. And y'all probably like, oh my God, where are you moving? I'm actually um, moving back home. I feel like I've reached the point where I actually really love LA. But I feel like LA isn't really a settled down city. Like all of these major cities, Houston, LA, Miami, Atlanta, those aren't really settled down cities. Those are like hookup culture cities. And I get it because it's fun cities. It's a bunch of stuff to do. It's a million beautiful people there in those cities. Like it's a bunch of young people moving there for work or for vibes or whatever. It's new faces every day. And I feel like um, I'm happy I experienced that in Atlanta. I'm happy I experienced that in LA. But I am done. I'm ready to settle down. And I feel like when you settle down in like a smaller town like... Philly is a big town, but it's a big, it's a little smaller than like these mega cities like New York, Miami, Atlanta, or like Dallas or something like that. Don't get me wrong, the dating pool is trash everywhere, but I feel like um, I don't even party anymore, y'all. I don't go out. I don't go out to the clubs and stuff. Um, I've been to all the little parties here, the celebrity parties, all that type of stuff. But um, yeah, I got to the point in my life where I'm like, I don't party. All I do for fun is kind of hang out with my friends, go to my friend's place, go out to eat um, at nice fancy restaurants. Um, I like to go to the spa and do like chill stuff like that. So I just really feel like what am I missing here? Like, well, besides the nice weather, the beaches, the beautiful restaurants, I can go to beautiful restaurants and all of that in on the East Coast, like Philly, Baltimore. New York, um, DC, like it's plenty of beautiful restaurants and spas and stuff. I will really miss LA, like the weather and me living up the street from the beach, but I just feel like um, I'm at the age where I'm not settled down, so I would like to be around my family and around loved ones. Um, like really going home for Thanksgiving 
really made me decide like I miss my family and I want to be around my family and y'all I'm ready to buy a house like I was really thinking about buying a house out here in LA but I would have to live literally far from the city and a million dollars is not even gonna get you far out here whereas I'm a city girl like I kind of grew up living in the suburbs like in, in the suburbs and in a good area of Philly like my whole life and I don't like that. I want to live in a city. I want to live near everything. And I just feel like I can't afford luxury in the city of LA. Like, uh-uh, not on this nurse dime. So, um, yeah, I, that's another reason why I'm going home. Not only do I miss my family, but like, I'm ready to buy a nice house that's like in the city or, uh, like right outside of the city because I don't like being far on the outskirts. I don't want to drive 30 minutes and all of that. So, yes, y'all, end of an era. I'm not really like, I don't know. It's going to be bittersweet moving from LA. It's different from Atlanta because like, I do really like LA. Like, um, But I'm excited. I'm excited to uh, buy a house, to be a homeowner. I can't wait to decorate. Oh my gosh, I really like decorating. Um, and I'm going to give an official apartment tour of my place before I move out and like literally list how much I was paying and the area it was in and stuff in case anybody is thinking about moving to LA. Um, but when y'all find out how much I was paying for this little apartment, that's nice. I'm not going to lie. I, do, I love my apartment. It's so cute and homey, but it's literally no space in here. Um, and I'm ready for space. Like even with my Christmas tree decorations. I don't have anywhere to store it. If I had a house, I can put it in a basement. I can put it in a garage, like little things like that. I have no storage. I need a walk-in closet. I don't have a walk-in closet here, y'all. Like I am literally tired of giving these luxury apartments my money and um, not being 100% satisfied. Whereas like if I get a house, you know, I can customize it to my likings. I am, I know that I'm going to get like over living in Philly. But the great thing is that I'm a travel nurse. So it's like when I get in my periods of I'm sick of being here, I'm just going to pick up an assignment probably in California. I'm definitely not letting my California license lapse because this is where you make the most money in California. But um, yeah, when I get sick of like being there and I feel like I just need a break or like I got the urge to move. I'm just going to travel nurse, take a month or two months or three month assignment and um, that'll be my getaway. So my base will be at home. I'm excited to live um, back at home with money because yes, I'm from there, but I've never got to experience living luxury um, in the city of Philadelphia. And like, I've never got to experience living there where I'm not in my era where I'm not really going out to parties and all that because I feel like, yeah, between being a teenager to adult all the time I've been there, I was outside and I don't be outside no more. I'm boring, I'm older. So I like to do classy aesthetic things now with my friends. I don't look forward to running into people that I know um, because y'all, when I'm home, bro, Every time I go somewhere, I know somebody. Literally, my sister always says, every time you go out, you know somebody. I can go to the market. I can go to a concert. I can go anywhere. I'm going to see somebody I know, like the mall. I see somebody I know there all the time, and it's really annoying because I'm at the point in my life where I don't want to be popular. I just want to be a nobody. I want to be a weirdo, a lame. I want to be cute to myself and out the way a loner yeah all of that so yeah but i'm only telling youtube i'm not gonna like post it on instagram like oh i'm back home y'all i live back home i'm not telling anybody not excited to drive on those streets with all those potholes oh my god we got the worst potholes Woo, child but yeah i'm excited i've been shopping for a house You guys, I got this little thing from Amazon. It came in a pack of two. It has like this button on the back. And um, yeah, it's for like protecting your hair when you're 
doing your makeup and stuff. I never really put foundation on my forehead because my forehead is so big. It be absorbing the sun. So it's always been like darker than my body. So like when I put foundation up there, it always look ashy. So don't worry about my forehead not matching. I actually was thinking about moving to um, London or Dubai. I really want to move out the country, but I feel like since I moved to these two cities, I'm tired of moving around and not feeling fulfilled. And I feel like I'm going to keep getting the same result in these big major cities like London, Dubai, LA, Atlanta. It's all kind of the same thing, different, different things to do, but same thing. Plus, how am I going to make money in London overseas? Like, B F F R B fucking for real. These these are so good. They're um, premier premier protein caramel protein drinks, bro. Mm, they are so sweet, and it's thirty grams of protein, one hundred and sixty calories. Yo, I don't know. Like, I be losing my appetite sometimes, where it's just like. I don't feel hungry enough. Like today I ate a whole cheesesteak to myself and I had some fries. I know this is very low vibrational. And um, that's the only thing I ate today. I didn't eat breakfast. I just ate lunch. So um, on days like this where I feel like I'm not as hungry where I can't get in three meals. Well, of course I want to eat dinner tonight, but I try and drink a protein shake so I'm not losing like weight because I'm 120 right now. And y'all all know when I got my body done last summer, I was 128, 130, and I just looked so good. And when I was going through it last fall and I lost my hips, whoo child, I was 110. I had went from 128 to 110. I lost 20 pounds and I looked so sick. And I don't want to get back there anymore. I'm not sad or depressed. I'm happy. And I only highlight, I don't like the contour because I feel like my face is already strong. So why would I contour so my face looks stronger? My friend just asked me if the guy I'm going on a date with is cute. I just feel like, does that matter anymore? Like, yes is a plus if you're attractive. And of course, I don't want like a gorilla that's like stinky, but like, if you're not like Denzel Washington and you're nice, you know, you're financially stable, you smell good, you like, you know how to carry yourself. Why do I care if you're cute or not? I don't care anymore. Like, what, bro? Yeah, yeah. That must be beauty, beauty.
This is the final look with my lashes done. It literally took me like 10 minutes to do those, but yeah. Let me turn off. Let me give you low light. I'm feeling it. Looks super cute. Do I need more blush? I love blush. Mm, just to tap it. Okay guys, so Reem is here. So I'm gonna wear this dress cause she has on a long dress. And I have a gray one like that, the Skims one, but I don't have any heels to go with it. So I'm gonna wear this. I wore this before out with my girlfriends, but um, it's like a kind of chilly night and I don't wanna wear a jacket. And I think this is cute and sexy. I wore it in my try on hauls from Fashion Nova. It shows my curves. And it looks good with this hairstyle. Okay, so this is the final look. I'm wearing my YS, I mean, my Chanel bag. This is clearly not YSL. And I love this dress. It makes me look so curvy. From Fashion Nova. It has a high split. I'm going to wear it with some heels. And I'm going to wear Zara's Ebony Wood perfume tonight. I love this one. It smells so good. And I'm going to actually mix it with my Tom Ford Black Orchid. I love this one too. And I love mixing my perfumes, it just smells so good. I'm trying to see, should I add some jewelry? I think I like me without jewelry. I'll probably put my Anastasia um, glitter stuff like on my skin right here, it's just so I shine at night. And yeah, this how I'm coming. This how I'm coming. Period. <laughs> okay, so I just wanted to show y'all. I just sprayed the Anastasia um, body shimmer on. And this is how it looks. Let me rub it in a little bit. But it's so pretty. You see that shimmer? Oh, Yeah. 